Now, the Indian government has encouraged Kenyan investors to invest in India owing to the cordial relationship between the two countries. Speaking while celebrating their Republic Day, the High Commissioner to Kenya, Dr. Viranda Paul, said the two flourishing democracies have developed a wide-ranging partnerships in diverse areas, which include medical tourism and in the energy sector. And as, the, as Ruth Womboy reports, India has committed to enhance bilateral relations despite the COVID-19 pandemic that has strained most economies around the globe. Songs and dances filled the air during commemoration of 73 years of India's independence. Namaste. The message of peace and hard work was dominant as the Indian community in Kenya and around the globe celebrated this milestone. <laughs> India's I commissioner to Kenya taking the opportunity to rally investors to take advantage of the good bilateral ties the two nations enjoy. It has been uh, consistently our effort to encourage uh, uh, Indian investors to invest in Kenya and also the Kenyan investors to invest in India and uh, uh, you know India has traditionally been uh, a major investor in the Kenyan economy. And with the coronavirus pandemic that brought a global slowdown of unprecedented scale disrupting supply chains and international trade the High Commissioner said India was committed to strengthen the larger framework of post-COVID recovery. Supply chain architecture is going to be, uh, you know, uh, redesigned, if I uh, may say. And uh, this provides an opportunity uh, for both Indian and Kenyan business communities to uh, sit together and, and uh, see how uh, they can work together to make the fullest use of available opportunities. At the same time, new initiatives in the fields of energy and healthcare are underway with the medical tourism of Kenyan professionals to India being on top gear. We have already shown that the healthcare supply chains uh, is an area where India has made a difference. In our interactions, we have been advising them, uh, you know, to keep our eyes and uh, ears open, uh, looking for opportunities and make the best use of uh, what we have. Ruth Wamboy for Prime Edition.